Unforeseen events often happen on set while filming, and it ends up in a tragedy, just like what happened in the drama The King of Tears, Yi Bang Wan. The drama was aired from December 2021 until May 2022, but the staff involved have recently been charged with animal cruelty after a horse passed away due to a dangerous stunt scene. The issue started around January 2022 when the Korea Animal Welfare Association, or also known as Kawa, raised their concerns about animal cruelty during the filming of the drama. Kawa posted on their Instagram account footage of the incident that occurred while filming a scene in the drama that caused the horse to pass away. The association explained through its Instagram account that they have raised the allegation of animal cruelty once they secured a video from the filming of the drama. It was confirmed that the horse's hind legs were tied to a wire, which was pulled with much force while the horse was running, causing the horse to fall in a dangerous way. Both the horse and the actor were at risk of being severely injured. According to the video, staff members were seen running to aid and check on the condition of the actor, but no one was seen running to check if the horse was okay. Therefore, the association heavily criticized the carelessness of the staff members towards the helpless animal. Before hitting the ground, the horse flipped in the air, and once landed, the impact was all on its neck. The horse then is seen lying motionless while the staff runs to the actor and gives no aid to the horse despite what happened. The Korea Welfare Association continued to express how shocked they were at how the Korean public broadcast company is still filming in this way in the year 2022. The association also pointed out that the incident reveals the issue of animal cruelty at the filming sites, which is an issue that's been continuously raised over the years. The association requested KBS to reveal the condition of the horse ASAP, and a few hours later, they received the news confirming that the horse in the video passed away a few days after the accident. KBS explained that the horse passed away due to complications from the injury during the filming. They also acknowledged that there were problems with the method of how they filmed the scene with the horse. In fact, after the episode released where the horse was seen falling, many netizens expressed their concern regarding the horse through the KBS viewers bulletin board. Netizens asked, I saw the horse fall really badly in the episode. Is the horse alive? There is no way that horse can fall that way unless they forced it to fall that way. And what happened to the horse that was filmed on that day? After the confirmation of the horse's status, netizens expressed their anger by posting through online communities and even started a Blue House petition asking all those involved in the filming and those responsible to be severely punished. The petition quickly garnered attention and received a total of 35,747 signatures. Some even took it further and went to the main actor, Ju Sang Wook's Instagram account to express their anger towards him as well. Many of these netizens criticized him for being negligent as well and asked for a proper explanation. Despite not being a part of the scene, Ju Sang Wook commented on the controversy. He stated, My heart hurt. There was a lot of heartache. Even though I wasn't directly connected, as a lead actor, you can't say I didn't have any responsibility. Everyone feels sorry. Following the production's controversial incident, the drama took a break from broadcast for two weeks. A year after the incident, on February 2nd, 2023, the Korea Animal Welfare Association announced that formal changes have been filed and submitted to the prosecution. The director, martial arts director, horse rider team manager, and broadcaster KBS were all found guilty of violating the Animal Protection Act. In addition to punishing the broadcast corporation, the change of imposing a fine was also applied. A few of our favorite actors have also encountered some accidents while filming on set. Back in 2014, actor Song Guk suffered injuries twice while shooting his drama, The King's Face. In October, he was rushed to the hospital after his eye was hit while practicing an action scene. A stuntman accidentally hit his eye, which led to aches and swelling. A month after his eye accident, Song Guk once again encountered another accident while on set. Ing Guk sustained minor injuries on his nose while he was shooting scenes that involved some wires. Luckily, his nose and eye injury isn't that serious and was taken into action right away. Another case is Lee Sung Gi, who is known to have a lot of action-packed dramas and doesn't need any stunt double and does all the action scenes by himself. In 2014, Lee Sung Gi was injured while filming an action scene in his drama, You're All Surrounded. While filming, his eye was stabbed by a prop knife. He was then immediately taken to the hospital and was diagnosed with anterior corneal damage and bleeding within the eye. Even after the accident, it was reported that Sung Gi wanted to immediately return to filming after emergency treatment, but they advised him that he needed absolute rest for a full recovery. Otherwise, there may be more damage to his injury. But this isn't the only time Sung Gi encountered an accident on set. Back in 2013, Sung Gi was injured while filming his drama Goo Family Book. It was reported that his skin was ripped off the back of his hands while doing an action scene. It was a scene where Sung Gi and co-star Susie were being attacked by a lot of assassins in the middle of the night. But despite his injury, Sung Gi didn't 
didn't hold back and continued filming because he didn't want the staff to worry and wait for him. Even though he also received bruises all over his body and had unhealed injuries, he did not spare himself in filming the action scenes. Actress Moon Goon Young also suffered an eye injury while filming her drama Goddess of Fire, Dongin. While shooting, a camera fell on her face and she was rushed to the emergency room. However, it was also claimed that Goon Young was being overworked with harsh filming schedules and non-stop working conditions of the drama, which also contributed to her injury in the first place. Her agency released a statement saying her eyes were getting swollen, leading to her halting of filming. She rested until the following day and was able to recover and return to filming again. But just three days after the announcement that Goon Young was fine, her agency had reported that the actress had to put her shooting schedule on hold. It appears that the impact of the accident caused serious swelling and bruising. As a result, all filming for the drama had been temporarily placed on pause for the time being. While filming for his movie 20, Kim Woo Bin suffered a knee injury. It was reported that Woo Bin even underwent a medical examination, including an MRI of his left knee, at Tongbok University Hospital. The MRI showed that the ligaments and cartilage in his knee are damaged, causing him to seek further treatment. After the one-hour checkup, Woo Bin was moved to a clinic in Seoul and had more treatments. Because of the knee injury, Kim Woo Bin was not able to walk correctly, due to which he missed the press, took a break from work, and had bed rest for his recovery. Remember this scene in the drama Descendants of the Sun? Jung Ki's character was hospitalized after he was wounded, and he needed to wear an arm cast in the following episodes. Well, it turns out that the arm cast used by Captain Shi Jin wasn't a prop. Jung Ki needed to wear the cast due to a fracture and a torn ligament on his knee that needed eight weeks of recovery. It was reported that while filming an action scene, he had his arm splinted, which resulted in canceling their filming schedules at that time. Although it was a severe injury, Jung Ki showed his determination and commitment to keep the shooting of the drama, and in the end, he managed to complete all shootings wearing a cast. The drama aired in 2016, but it was later revealed that Jung Ki suffered more injuries while filming. In November 2022, Jung Ki made an appearance on the show called Super Action in support of his friend Yoon Ki Hyun, who turns out to be his stunt double while shooting the drama Descendants of the Sun. During the interview with the production team, Jung Ki revealed that there were certain scenes in the drama where he can't personally act, even if he wanted to and tried his best. Those scenes include car chases, martial arts, and lots of other kind of action-related scenes. Jung Ki then continued praising his stunt double by stating that they were lucky that he was very good at his moves with agility, since at most times, stunt doubles would make a move at their normal speed, and then the video editors will fast-forward it so that it looks like they're doing their move quickly. But Ki Hyun's moves were already so fast that there was no need for the video editors to do that. Jung Ki recalled the time when he got a lot of injuries during the shoot, but one injury was so bad that he couldn't even walk at that time. Jung Ki then added, If it wasn't for Ki Hyun, I wouldn't have been able to finish shooting Descendants of the Sun. He's a close friend of mine now. What are your thoughts on these accidents that happened on set? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.